Hey Hort, I quickly want to show you guys a new tool we have. Um, as most of you guys are aware, we're currently fighting over some moons in Losec. One of the issues with Moon Warfare is that it's very hard for normal members to have an understanding of what's going on and what the, pro what the progression is like. If we're doing well, if we're doing bad, if we're making progress, if we're not making progress, stuff like that. Uh, so basically, we attempted to make it a little bit more visual with our strategic campaign map, which you can see here. This map is basically a fully fledged um, dotland like map, except it's not zooming, panning, and has the ability for us to, cost, to draw custom data on it, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, all the square system will lead to a um, new area, so uh, clicking on them the new map and all the other systems basically belong to the region we can also navigate in a different manner by using the search field here above searching for solar systems such as for example GDA which will load up GDA map and center GDA in the center of your screen you can search for regions such as for example place it which will again activate the overview from the comp for the campaign. So let's have a look at the moon specific stuff. We basically have two views. The moon status and the moon progression. Moon status is the one we're on now. Where every moon is represented by a dot. And the only moons that are drawn on the map are ma moons that are of strategic importance. Which basically means moons we want to fight over. On every region that is, is a focus for the campaign, we draw the uh, regional progress bar, which will fill up as we take the region, and a little moonbeam, which is basically different depending on what progress we make. On the campaign window, you can uh, see the total progression as well, which counts all systems that have stra strategic moons. If we go to uh, Black Rise, you can see that we already made some progress and that the moons are under allied control. These are, these are indicated with the orange moon indicators. And we also have some that we uh, do not have control yet over. If we go to the moon progress filter, all the uh, nodes will basically change into donut charts. This makes it a little bit, a little bit easier to see what the pro progression is like in each system. Although at the moment we don't have any situation where that's really useful. But picture a situation where there are seven moons in a system and seven moons in the next system, and seven moons in the next system, and we control two and allies control the rest or the other way around. This view makes it a little bit easier to quickly see if we're doing well or if we're not doing well in a collection of solar systems. It's worth pointing out that now all the hard work on the map is done. This is some pretty big implications for the future tooling of Horde. Considering now we can basically add a map to any data viewpoint tool or ID we have. The obvious ones are obviously tying it to your quest location, which makes the map navigate for you while you are in game, which is easier, easier for navigating. But also tools like Intel maps, showing wormholes, data overlays, pretty much anything we want to do with it at this point. It's going to take a lot of work, uh, but every time we add a tool, we will expand the map a little bit. Don't expect this all like next week. It will take some time to get things up and running, but uh, the idea is to basically make it grow over time. One further thing I want to point out is that um, all of the data is actually input by a recon group which basically um, has new tooling as well to uh, manage intel, share moons, input information about moons, and stuff like that. I will not be showing off that part of the tool due to the nature of the information that's in there at the moment. Anyway, let me know what you think about uh, the tool in the thread or the comments. Um, if you have ideas, always let me know. It would be nice to uh, work on this, expand it further, 